Knock is one of the biggest killers of performance engines and in this lesson you're going to find out what knock sounds like and how an ECU can detect it. Now we're going to have a brief demonstration of knock audio on our dyno here using our Nissan 350Z to demonstrate what's going on. Now we're using the Plex knock monitor version 2 to bring you the knock audio and at the same time so that you can visually see exactly what's going on we're also going to be looking at the data logging from the Link G4 Plus ECU. Now I'm just going to briefly explain what's being shown on the data logging. The first parameter in our data log here is our engine speed and moving down from here you'll be able to also see the throttle position and the ignition timing. Next we've got a group here that is demonstrating the amount of noise being generated on each of the six cylinders on our engine. And we also have a knock threshold, which you can see this is the white line being shown on our data log. Now the knock threshold essentially, this is the point where if any of the cylinder noise levels exceed this threshold, the ECU will deem that the engine is knocking and take preventative measures. At the bottom we also have another group which shows the knock count, so any time an individual cylinder knocks this counter will increment. Alright let's get our engine running now, we're going to perform this test at 2000 RPM in 4th gear. Ok so we've got our car running now in 4th gear and we can see that at the moment we're sitting just below 2000 RPM. You can see that I'm not using very much throttle right now, we're only using about 14 or 15 percent throttle so I'm barely touching the throttle and there's not much load being placed on the engine. At the same time you can see that at the moment we uh, have 26 degrees of ignition advance. Now the important point to note now is if we look at all of our individual cylinder knock levels, these are all below that threshold which currently is sitting at 40. And at the same time if we listen to the audio signal that's coming through, what we're currently hearing is just the normal background engine noise that we can expect to hear in any engine. Now that we've seen what the knock signals are looking like with no knock and you've heard what the engine sounds like with no knock occurring, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the throttle fully and this is going to result in some knock occurring. You'll hear the audio note change and at the same time you'll be able to see the individual cylinder knock levels exceed the threshold. So let's do that now. So we can see that when I've gone to full throttle at this point, the ignition timing now has advanced out to 45 degrees and this is why, what has resulted in our detonation that you would have been able to audibly hear. At the same time we can see that there's several instances where our cylinder knock levels have exceeded our knock threshold and while that's happening we can see that our knock counter has incremented on a number of the cylinders. Let's perform one more test and and we'll just go through that again so you get another opportunity to hear this. So this test should give you some insight into what knock sounds like when we're listening to it through an audio knock detection system. Now admittedly some engines are a little bit more difficult to distinguish between that normal background noise level and the actual sound of knock and at the same time other engines the distinction is actually even clearer than what we have here on our 350Z. That was just one lesson from our EFI Tuning Fundamentals course. This course is the perfect place to start if you want to learn how to tune EFI or for those who are just interested in finding out how EFI tuning works. For more information and to purchase the course, click the link now.